Good evening, and welcome to Sejep Champlain St. Lawrence's graduation ceremony of 2021. My name is Angela Stevens. I'm the Dean of Faculty and Professional Services, and it's my pleasure to be the Master of Ceremonies this evening. It was extremely important for us to hold some sort of ceremony to be able to celebrate our graduates of 2021. They are a group of resilient and perseverant students some of you will have spent as much time attending classes online as you did on campus. And for many others, you've spent more time learning from home than you have being physically with us at St. Lawrence. Your SAGEP experience has been like no other. Our theme for this year's graduation is Light the Way. The graduating class of 2021 is a beacon of light in what has been a difficult year, and we are so very proud of all of you. Tonight's ceremony, we will present the graduates by program and we'll also present the awards and bursaries and scholarships that some students have received. We will have a few speeches, but we will try to put the light on our students this evening. On the occasion of our first ever virtual graduation, I'm pleased to introduce to you the director of the Constituent College and Director of Studies, Mr. Edward Berryman. Thank you, Angie. Dear class of 2021, you've now completed your college studies. In and of itself, this is a milestone. But this year, your achievement takes on a, another signification. You reach your academic goal under extraordinary circumstances with a total transformation of the learning environment and a profound disruption of your social and personal life. For most of you, the majority of your SEGEP has been spent at home, going from one Zoom room to another. But you've made it. And your graduation comes at a time where we can now see the glimmer of a return to normal life. Your graduation does not just acknowledge that you have acquired skills and competencies to pursue at the university level or enter the job market. You are rich of the experience of overcoming very difficult circumstances that were undermining the very possibility of achieving your goals. You have shown exceptional resilience, you stood strong in front of adversity, and remained focused on your objectives and aspirations. You have discovered strengths that you did not expect you had. You learned to adapt more than you ever thought possible. And you've witnessed how a society as a whole can deal with a crisis of historical proportion. St. Lawrence prides itself to be a house of leaders, the college of choice for young men and women who aspire to make a positive difference in society. But more than ever, we call upon our class of 2021 to light the way and be citizens that will contribute to the strength and quality of our institutions, work for justice, be actors of our scientific development, collective prosperity, and social progress. And yes, we call upon you to be among those who will find solutions to the next crisis that we will certainly confront in the decades to come. Dear St. Lawrence class of 2021, it is with the conviction that you will light the way that I bid you farewell and wish you all the best. Thank you. Our graduates would not have made it to this moment without the dedication of their teachers. We're extremely proud of how open and flexible our faculty have been during the past year and a half. They've risen to the challenge of online teaching and navigated through so many uncertainties. They've shown true professionalism in maintaining the level of support and quality of teaching that St. Lawrence is known for. We thank them all for everything that they have accomplished. Our teachers are not the only employees that had to recreate themselves this year. Employees that work directly with students have had to find new ways of reaching and engaging our students. These incredible efforts allowed us to continue to offer many services and activities and to create new ones. I'd like to take this opportunity to highlight a few of them. Our professionals created online workshops to support students in our welcome days. Our psychosocial counselor created new activities such as art therapy online and a hiking group. We started virtual study halls, maintained our peer tutoring services, not to mention our student success workshops. 
our open house events turn to virtual happenings. Many clubs continue to hold activities, juggling from online to in-person and back to online again. We also had the creation of new clubs, such as the Multimedia Club. Our creative students even started a, a school newspaper called the Lion's Log, a very meaningful way to bring us all together. We offered online training for all of our athletes throughout the school year. And despite the online context, we even managed to support our annual charities, such as the annual blood drive, the Christmas community hamper, and the Défi Tetrazé, where we were able to raise over $15,000. We've also been able to do other projects this year, such as refreshing all of the club rooms and the atrium, renovating and regrouping student services all to one area, and refinishing the gymnasium floor. We've been painting many areas of the building and renovating some of the washrooms. And thanks to the Student Association, we've also been able to create an e-sports room. None of these projects would have come to realization without the hard work from so many employees. We'd like to thank all of our employees for not only maintaining the usual level of services, but for going above and beyond despite this difficult year. Next, we will proceed with highlighting the names of all of our graduates by program. So to begin, um, we will uh, start with our arts, literature, and communication program. And we have Mr. Nicolas Lou, who I uh, would like you to come up and present the ALC grads. Hello, everyone. On behalf of the Arts, Literature, and Communication Program, I would like to extend a big time bravo and a colossal congratulations to the ALC graduating class of 2021. Your journey here at St. Lawrence was certainly an extraordinary one. From regular presence on campus, to a whole year of remote learning on Zoom and a multitude of other platforms. Your ability to stick with it through thick and thin is most worthy of praise. My colleagues of the ALC program were asked to offer one word to qualify this cohort of graduates. Among them are resilient, perseverant, tenacious, fierce, motivated, invested, positive, strong, creative, open-minded, and thankful. These are qualities that have served you well in the recent past and will continue to serve you well in the future. We, the teachers of the program, return that thankfulness tenfold and want to underscore how proud we are of your contributions and accomplishments over the past couple of years. And we wish you well as you embark on your own separate journeys in the wondrous landscapes of life. Godspeed to all of you, and bravo once again. And continuing on in alphabetical order, we will move on to the business program. And I would invite Mr. Tom Skinner to come up and present and speak to the graduates from the business program. Uh, good afternoon, all, uh, in person and uh, virtually, I guess. Uh, virtually. Uh, now, there's a word we haven't uh, had to use uh, for a while, but now we seem to have gotten very used to it. Um, as is shown, I'm Tom Skinner, and I'm representing the PWCM's business program here at St. Lawrence. And I'm very pleased to present to you the 2021 business graduates, uh, the students whose names I think you will see scrolling across your, your screen. <clears throat> well, here we are. It's graduation. Okay, it's a special ceremony, I know. Um, and it's like no other, and certainly not what you expected when you started your CJEP. Um, what can we say for the past year particularly? I guess at least we could say we made it. Congratulations. Um, it's been a year that's been very difficult. I can appreciate that. Um, it's been a year of challenges. There's been loneliness, uh, not being able to be with your friends and family, lots of stress, and probably some frustration, I'm sure. 
but also, as was pointed out earlier, it's been a year of adaption, uh, adaptation, I should say, excuse me, and accomplishment, because you're here. So I want to congratulate all of you on your perseverance, uh, your hard work that you've put in in order to be able to be here uh, today. You're completing your, your CGEP studies here is, uh, in this unprecedented and difficult time is an example of the excellence you, uh, our graduating class, uh, have shown and the commitment that's been demonstrated by you, the students. And I dare say, uh, like the teachers and administration, to make sure that your scholastic year was not lost. Uh, I think we can all come away uh, from this uh, past year uh, feeling proud. Uh, I know we're all stronger for it. Uh, keeping with today's theme, I, I hope you will take this time at St. Lawrence as kind of a beacon, okay, to light your way to your future endeavors. And despite the challenging past year, I hope that you'll look back with a pride and build on your CGEP uh, achievements. I certainly wish you all the best in your uh, future studies and careers. Uh, I speak for all the faculty when I say that we've sincerely enjoyed uh, being your teachers, and I invite you to keep in touch, okay? Drop in the campus if you're around. Let us know how you're doing, okay? So congratulations, have a great day. Next, we have our science program graduates, and Joanne McKellar will come and present our grads. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The science program is delighted to present our graduates for 2021. You, our science graduates, had one normal semester and then three COVID semesters, in which your courage, your perseverance, and your ingenuity were tested and you have risen to the challenge magnificently. Here you are today as witness to your determination to make the most of your time at St. Lawrence. You have engaged the battle with all the resources at your disposal. Some of these resources have been technical. We've all learned so many new ways of learning and living. Can we say that technology is now our friend we are so thankful for the technological resources of the college and the wisdom and staff of, of the staff and the, and the faculty. But also, aren't we thankful for the friends that we have shared this time with? They played such a role in helping us to make the most of our time together. Some of the resources have also been emotional as we find ways to deal with the sense of isolation that we have all felt as we work from home. We miss visits with our friends and family. Zoom is wonderful, but don't we wish we could just sit down with a cup of tea or a Coke and have a chat with one another? So I applaud your collective determination to work toward a return to that very simple pleasure. Thank you for all persevering with us and for making us so proud of you. Well done, science graduates. Uh, finally, we will have our social science program. Jacinthe Rouel will come and present and speak to our social science graduates. Dear graduates, guests, and colleagues, uh, it's a privilege to be here today uh, on behalf of all teachers in the social science program to celebrate the success of our 2021 graduates. Uh, you rose up to the challenge of online learning as the pandemic hit and, as, uh, and the pandemic which was taking such a heavy toll on your personal and social lives. Uh, you have achieved uh, something which is remarkable and I would add even historic. Uh, in the last year, we all learned the hard way that we can't take anything for granted. Our definitions of what is possible and impossible have dramatically changed. This is unsettling, but it's so full of potential. It's an opportunity for positive and mindful change. 
Now it's time for your generation and for you as social scientists in particular to lead the way forward as we create the blueprint for the post-pandemic world and to build on the skills and on the new consciousness that you have developed through this crisis. So in closing, on behalf of your social science teachers, for whom you always were so much more than small squares on a screen, congratulations once again. Uh, you kept us going through this crisis. You inspired us. And today, you're making us very, very proud. So now, dream big, dear graduates. It's your time to shine. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations to all of our graduates. We will now proceed with the uh, awards presentations that we have this afternoon. We have, uh, as Mr. Berryman mentioned at the beginning, uh, we have students that are outstanding, uh, that shine in so many different ways, and it's a real pleasure to be able to honor them with some very distinctive awards. So our first award uh, for this uh, part of our graduation ceremony is the St. Lawrence uh, College Out of Town Student Award, which is sponsored by the Quebec City Women's Club. To present this award, I would invite Karina Brassard to come to the stage. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> um, I will be giving out the, the, the award to the student who has made a successful transition from high school to college while adapting to a new living environment. I would also like to underline that this student has put all of his heart and his soul in his program and has also contributed to giving a lot of this delightful uh, persona to other students who's, who really he's helped a lot of students to improve. So the Quebec City Women's Club Awards to the SLC out of town students of $500 is given to Mr. Manwani Singh Multani. <laughs> Our next award is the P.W. Sims Memorial Scholarship given by the Citadel Foundation. And I would ask Andreu to come and give the award, please. Hello, everyone. Hi, folks. So, to the outstanding business student who will pursue university studies in business administration or commerce, the Citadel Foundation awards the P.W. Sims Memorial Scholarship of $3,000 to Derek Lee Dagenet. Our next award is the Dr. Guthrie Memorial Scholarship, also from the Citadel Foundation. I would ask Diane Deneau to come and give this award, please. Okay, so to the outstanding student who is entering the first year of a university program in health studies, the Citadel Foundation awards the Dr. Guthrie Memorial, Memorial Scholarship of $3,000 to Alexandre Morin.
next award is by the St. Lawrence Teachers Union. It's a bursary that they are presenting to a student today. I'd ask Geneviève Ribordi, the union president, to come and present the award. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, so every year, the Teachers Union gives an award to a uh, a student who has shown an exceptional improvement from the first semester to the last semester. Um, and um, of course, the student is always a very hardworking student that has put a, a lot of energy into uh, improving, increasing uh, his or her marks. So today, I would like uh, to give the St. Lawrence Teachers Union bursary. Um, worth $2,000 to an exceptional student who dem demonstrated improvement during her years at St. Lawrence, and that student is Raphael Champagne. Our next award is from the St. Lawrence Professionals Union, and this award is called the True Grit Award. I would ask Shirley Jobson to come and present this award, please. This very special award goes to the student who best demonstrates integrity, fortitude, adaptability, and determination. We believe in the graduate's academic potential and ability to make positive differences in society. The Professionals Union True Grit Award of $500 goes to Jersey Chainard. Our next award is the Francois Jacques Roussin Award, and I would ask Mr. Berryman to come and present this award, please. Uh, this award was instituted to commemorate the contribution made by Francois Jacques Roussin in the area of cooperation and community service and to recognize the efforts of students who have followed his example. The Francois Jacques Roussin Award of $500 is awarded to Sophie Rose Degagné. Our next award is the Cardinal La Roi Trophy, and I would ask Jeremy Wallet to come and give the award, please. Thank you, Angie. I have the, the pleasure to give the biggest trophy today. <laughs> I'm really pleased. 
um, to a student, an amazing student that I have uh, the, the chance to, to get to know him um, for the, his tr three years during the, his study. So to the students who best combines leadership and academic excellence, the Card Cardinal Roy Trophy, a souvenir plaque, and $700 is awarded to directly Dagenet. Our next award is the St. Lawrence Alumni Foundation Award, and I would ask Jean-Philippe Briard to come and give the award, please. It is my pleasure to present this award to a student so I've had the chance to work with this year, a student who best provides consistent and exceptional effort in organizing and supporting student activities, the St. Lawrence Alumni Foundation, award of $700 is awarded to Emile Pinel. Our next award is the St. Lawrence Alumni Foundation Cultural Award, and I would ask Suzanne Lemay to come and present the award, please. Hello. Um, to the student who best combines academic, social, cultural, and community achievements, the SLC Alumni Foundation Cultural Award of $700 is awarded to Ipasia Behar Grill. Our next award is the Reverend P.S. Mifflin Award, and I would ask Vincent Jean Dubé to come and give the award, please. So, to the students who best combine academic excellence and athletic achievement, the Reverend P.S. Mifflin Award a souvenir, souvenir plaque and $350 is awarded to Elisabeth Labbé and Virginie Ruet. Our next award, we have uh, a special award. This is from the SLC Student Association to give an award to one of our teachers. I would ask Emile Pinel to please come down and give the award. So 
So to a teacher that goes above and beyond expectations by exhibiting outstanding devotion, great availability, and the willingness to help students, the Student Association uh, Teacher Recognition Award is awarded to Martin Parent. For our final award, uh, we are very privileged at St. Lawrence to have students that are the recipients of very prestigious scholarship awards. This year, we have one of our students who has won the Moorhead Kane Scholarship from the University of North Carolina. So I would ask Mr. Gavin to come down to the stage to present the award. We have two winners for this award, so we'll have them come individually. So Mr. Gavin, if you'd like to come and join us on the stage. Uh, the, the first uh, recipient is uh, Kelly. Eden, Kelly Eden. If you would come down please, Kelly. And the uh, second recipient is Katja Rhein Angat. The, the purpose of these uh, awards is to encourage students to carry on in their study of other languages and cultures. So. The next award uh, that we will present this afternoon is the Beneva COVID Resilience Scholarship, definitely warranted this year. And I would invite Stephanie Oakes to come and present the award. Beneva COVID Resilient Scholarships acknowledge the determination of students who overcame difficulties and found methodology to bounce back from a rocky start. The Beneva COVID Re Resilient Scholarship of $2,500 is awarded to Sahana Lessar Meadevan. Our next award is also uh, sponsored by Beneva, uh, another COVID Resilience Scholarship, and the presenter is Joanne McCalla. <laughs> Beneva COVID Resilience Scholarships acknowledge the determination of students who overcame difficulties and found a methodology to bounce back from a rocky start. We all had a rocky start with this COVID thing. The Beneva COVID Resilience Scholarship of $2,500 is awarded to Rodrigue Mendoza Hayward, one of our science students. He can't, I, sorry, he can't be here today, but we applaud him just the same. And uh, wish you all well.
Our next award is the Beneva Multi-Talented Scholarships. There's two. Uh, for the first uh, award, I would invite Mr. Berryman to come up and present the award. Thank you, Angie. So the uh, Beneva Multi-Talented Leader Scholarships aim to highlight students who play a sport, are involved in a cultural activity, or volunteers in their community. So the first Beneva Scholarship, Multi-Talented Leader Scholarship of $2,500 is awarded to Maurice Garon. Our second Beneva Multi-Talented Scholarship Award will be presented by Nicolas Daigle. Beneva Multi-Talented Leader Scholarships aim to highlight students who play a sport, are involved in a cultural activity, or volunteer in their community. The Beneva Multi-Talented Leader Scholarship of 2500 is awarded to the multi-talented Derek Lee Dagenet. <laughs> Our next awards are very special awards for us to be presenting. In the CEGEP world, uh, there's an association called the AQPC. And it's an association uh, that is specifically takes care of and, and tries to help teachers uh, in the world of pedagogy that's specific to the CEGEP level. Every year, we have the pleasure of honoring teachers uh, that are nominated by their peers to receive this prestigious award. In the past two years, as you can imagine, so last year in 2020, yes, it would have been 2020, uh, we went through our process of nominating a teacher to receive this award. And of course, the official award ceremony completed by the AQPC was not, did not take place. They were not able to hold it last year. So we would like to honor, uh, to take a moment to honor the teacher from last year who uh, is the recipient of this award, but also the teacher that is the recipient for this year. These awards, uh, there is an actual award that is presented uh, to these teachers at the official ceremony with the AQPC that again this year unfortunately uh, is, is, is on hold and being done in a different virtual way. But we'd like to just take a moment to honor both of those teachers. So first I would ask Gabrielle Messenger, our winner from the year 1920, uh, oh my God, 2019-2020, to come up to the stage and I will just read uh, the, a little description for Gabrielle. So, for over 20 years, Gabrielle has transmitted her passion for languages, culture, and diversity to students. Despite the complexity of the German language, Gabrielle has made learning possible through rigorous teaching methods and her unique talent to transmit her knowledge. Key accomplish accomplishments are modernizing the language lab, which was well overdue, huh, Gabrielle? Yes, yes it was. Yes, it was. 
hosting a German teaching assistant for many years, the annual educational trip to Germany, Czech Republic, Austria, Switzerland, and various other European places, and the participation of our students in language contests. Gabrielle is a respectful and hardworking teacher who has contributed enormously to the excellence of the ALC program. Congratulations, Gabrielle. And this year's recipient is Jacinthe Rouel. Jacinthe. So, Jacinthe has always worked very hard to create a warm, positive, and student-oriented class environment. Her involvement in St. Lawrence's inclusive pedagogy community of practice is just one example of her openness to change and her desire to innovate. Despite the change to online teaching, she persevered and successfully integrated new pedagogical activities into her courses. She also volunteered to share her practices with teachers across the college network during intercollegiate pedagogical days. Though Jacinthe is seen as a quiet force her continual desire to adapt her pedagogy to student needs makes her a great role model for all teachers in the network and especially here at St. Lawrence. Congratulations, Chessa. We will now move forward with the highest academic achievement award in all of our programs. So to begin, we will start with the Arts, Literature, and Communications program, and I would invite Nicolas Lou to return to the stage to give this award. Hello, everybody, once again. Okay. To the student with the highest academic achievement in the Arts, Literature, and communication program, a prize of $1,000 is awarded to Katia Rein Angat. Next, we have the highest academic achievement award for our business program. I would invite Mr. Tom Skinner to come and present the award, please. Good afternoon again. Uh, the business program at St. Lawrence <clears throat> is not really a piece of cake. So uh, every once in a while a student comes along who really, really excels. So I'm very pleased uh, to be able to uh, present this award to a, a young lady who I've had the, the pleasure of teaching a couple of courses to. She's a bit quiet, but she's very studious and has done a really great job. Uh, the student with the highest academic achievement in the PW Sims business program and a prize of $1,000 is awarded to Audrey Lorty. And next, we have the science program. Denis Carrier will be the teacher presenting the award for the highest academic achievement. Denis? To the student with the highest academic achievement in the science program, a prize of $1,000 is awarded to Eve Parenteau.
And for the highest academic achievement award in social sciences, I would invite Jacinthe Rouel to return to the stage. So this award goes to a student that I had the pleasure of having in her first semester at St. Lawrence. Uh, she meets all of my criteria of what a true learner is. She seeks feed feedback, she bounces on it. Uh, she's hardworking, she's just overall awesome. So to the student with the highest academic achievement in the social science program, a prize of $1,000 is awarded to Kylian Desrochers. We would now like to take a, a moment um, to present a very special award. This is the highest overall academic achievement award for the entire CEGEP. I would invite Mr. Berryman to come on stage to present the award. Well, it's useless to say that this goes to a very, very good student. So to the student with the highest overall academic achievement among the four programs, the, the Champlain Regional College Board of Governors Merit Award of $650 and the Governor's General Medal is awarded to Eve Parenteau. For the next part of our award ceremony, to help us close it out, we also have another video speech uh, presented to you from the Director General of Champlain Regional College, Odette Cote. Good afternoon, everyone. Mr. Francois Paradis, Chairman of the Board, Board and Governing Board Members, Mr. Edward Berryman, Constituent College Director, distinguished guests, colleagues, graduates, Champlain employees, ladies and gentlemen, we have the pleasure of celebrating the success of our students. Their graduation marks the attainment of an important step in life. Dear parents and friends, we share the same pride to see that our graduates are ready to undertake new challenges, different paths to attain other summits. Their success are the result of the unconditional support, the comprehension and the generosity that they received during their studies. Thank you to all those who have supported the efforts of students that have contributed to their success during this unprecedented world pandemic, where you all found innovative ways of bringing them to the finish line. Chers diplômés, nous voilà tous réunis pour célébrer votre réussite. Vous avez travaillé fort, vous avez fait des compromis et vous avez grandi tout au long de votre parcours afin de recevoir ce diplôme tant attendu. Au nom de Collège, je tiens à vous féliciter pour votre engagement, votre persévérance, ainsi que tous les efforts que vous avez déployés pour obtenir ce diplôme. The education that you have received testifies to a series of obstacles that you may have encountered, rigor, critical thinking, team spirit, social responsibility, ambition, skills, and well-being as well as ethical principles that will guide you throughout your career and empower you as you come across other challenges throughout your life. The series of difficulties or pitfalls that you have overcome, that you have managed to circumvent, sometimes alone, sometimes with the help of your siblings, your relatives, your friends, are what have brought you here today. Graduation is just the beginning of a long journey where the field of intervention now covers the entire planet. The challenges are enormous, 
and you will have the opportunity, even the duty, to contribute to solutions. It is with skills, innovation, and grit that you will dare intervene in changing the world while persevering and preserving the values supported by new generations. Strive for excellence, where the extra efforts will bring you pride and the expected results, telling you towards the new horizons, new challenges, and elevating you towards new summits. Know that during your educational journey, your perseverance and dedication have not only led to your success and self-realization, but also to the continual enrichment of Champlain. It is thanks to the strong sense of belonging of its graduates and to the vast network of alumni that we can offer excellent education today. As our pool of ambassadors, be aware that many of you will play a key role in society, occupying key positions in Quebec and around the world. That is why we invite you to be generous with your time and knowledge and to be part of our extended family so that you can continue to contribute to the enrichment of our college and that of future generations. Dear graduates, we are extremely proud of you. You have all pushed your limits. You have adapted to new ways of thinking and learning. The diploma that you will receive crowns the incommensurate academic and collective efforts that you have deployed through a host of extremely intelligent and exceptionally talented people. We wish you the very best of success. Please know that you will always be welcome to Champlain. Here, congratulations. It is with great pleasure that I introduce the final speech of the evening. The president of the Student Association is the first virtual president in the history of St. Lawrence. He rose to the occasion of leading the student body, keeping them informed and active in life at St. Lawrence, despite the context. He had to be creative and innovate this very important role, and he has done an extremely good job. On behalf of St. Lawrence, I would like to thank Mr. Emile Pinel for his leadership and his hard work this year. Dear students, ironically, I want to start off by presenting myself to you. I am well aware that some of you are meeting me for the first time here today. My name is Emile Pinel, and I was your elected Student Association president during those last two semesters here at St. Lawrence. In my opinion, the role of president mainly requires leadership in order to achieve success. A true leader must light the way, motivate his troops, and most importantly, guide by example. Well, let me tell you that during this last challenging year, it was rather the other way around. Your resilience and will to achieve your goals during this historical period we call COVID-19 and is and will always be a source of inspiration for me. We, the St. Lawrence family, were separated from each other and therefore left on our own without any means to interact. We were restricted to Zoom calls and long lasting days behind our screens. In other words, we were truly in the dark. Who would have thought that studying in bed would have become a thing? Who would have thought that the highlight of our passage at St. Lawrence would have been the confinement and online studies? All those obstacles became our daily reality and we chose to fight and that is why all of us are here today. We all managed to reassemble the necessary strength to keep on going forward and remember what it is all about to be part of the St. Lawrence family by rising up and keep on going forward. I might be your elected leader, but please know that you are all my leaders. Years from now, we'll read about those events in our children's and grandchildren's history book, and this period will be qualified as weird and dramatic. Well, we'll all be able to say that we were proud of ourselves, proud of ourselves for getting through these tough times and slowly seeing the light through the end of the tunnel. On this positive note, I'd like to personally congratulate each one of you and wish you all success in your continuity and projects. Have a wonderful summer and stay safe. Thank you.
Congratulations, guys. You finally made it.